The second part of the, of the installation is to find out where your thermostat or the existing thermostat is. For the case and for the illustration purposes, this one is an existing thermostat uh, made by Potterton and it's fixed onto the wall, which also suggests that there are internal wires which connect to this device. So you may need to determine whether you want to put your Nest device either on the very same location or you may want to install your Nest device wirelessly. So I'll be showing you the wire version of the Nest, which obviously still connects wirelessly to your boiler. Now obviously the situation and the place that you want to put your Nest is quite important because this is the place that you want your ambient temperature to be. And obviously you connected this wirelessly. So this is the device that I'll be taking out later on. Also what you will need to find is your controller is the main programmer for your boiler, which usually is in the kitchen, and obviously it looks something like this. So you probably need um, to access to this easily for the connection of identifying which live wires goes into the Nest device, and obviously connecting the right DC wires as well. And the final part of this is obviously you need to locate where your actual boiler is. So I'm going to show you where that is now. So in this property, this boiler is actually placed in the first floor and the camp in the, in the pantry and obviously it, will, it should look something like this. So this is obviously a combi boiler and you need to make sure to locate the right wires at the right place. So there's usually a water heater switch, so obviously this connects to the water and obviously there's a gas switch as well. And obviously you need to find out where your main wires are. And for this one, it's just right on the floor, which says, you know, over 230 volts. So before you do anything, it is quite important um, that you switch off the main electricity. So open this up and you'll find there are several wires connected to the entire boiler. And obviously, as explained before, it is quite complex. So please make sure you take a pen and you know paper to make sure you make note of the wires that you may need to change in order to connect the wireless device to this. Just off notice, this is the main power to the boiler. And obviously there's the inlets at the outlets at the back. And obviously with most combi denser boilers and with a tank, there should be a main motor, which is a red device at the back. And obviously the other valves, which usually is set at automatic. So this is the front valve and there's the back valve as well. So the purpose for today is, first of all, you've, as, as you see, there are three main um, live wires that will be connected to the back of the device and obviously the wires that need to fire up the boiler and the wires that need to fire up the water heating. Now for the next purpose, it only does the heating part of it, so you need to make sure the water part stays on for the entire period of the duration. So the next part of this is you need to look um, and locate where your thermostat is and obviously start to uh, install that part.